So I just arrived at Heathrow Airport, about to board a flight. If you look behind me, there's my plane. If you look really closely, you might get a little bit of a, a hint at where I'm going. I'm delighted to, to announce that I'm off to Kenya with the Running Trips official for the Kenya experience. Um, a running trip um, out in Iten, Kenya, which is, yeah, it's been, uh, on my bucket list to do ever since I got into running probably like four or five years ago um, I've wanted to go out to, to Iten um, to see the home of champions where the likes of Elliot Kipchoge train um, and some of the best runners in the world go out on on training camps so yeah I'm really excited to be documenting the next uh, two weeks out in Kenya as I train towards the Boston Marathon it's gonna be one hell of a journey and I'm gonna take you along with me and document it uh, in a bit of a daily vlog style. So today's video will just be me flying from London out to Kenya. Um, it's about an eight hour, eight and a half hour flight. Um, they're just getting the plane ready now, putting all the baggage on there. And then yeah, we'll be boarding, fly to Nairobi overnight. And then from Nairobi, I fly to Eldoret which is where uh, Iten is. If you want to check out uh, this experience that I'm going on, it's a package that's available through the running trips and I'll leave a link in the description of this video. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe, subscribe for lots more uh, Kenya running content in the next few days. So I just landed in Nairobi, come to the first coffee shop I found and I think this might be my spot. Um, I've got, what time is it now? Currently 6.13 in the morning. My flight to Eldoret isn't till 12 o'clock, so I've got a good four or five hours to kill. And I've come to this local breakfast spot at the Camera Focus. I've gone for whatever their, their full breakfast. Lovely little coffee with the swan on it. And their mango juice. Interesting. Just arrived at Eldoret. Our plane just landed over there. Managed to get my luggage, which is a good start. Um, didn't get lost. And now we're going to go find our driver. Um, he's going to take us from Eldoret up to Iten. So I just arrived at the High Altitude Training Centre here in a tent. This is my room, I'll give you a proper room tour in a minute. But when I left the house this morning, um, just like I did when I went to Japan, I pressed start on my stopwatch. Now I'm going to stop it, 23 hours and 25 minutes uh, to get here. It was about an hour drive uh, in, the, in the van from the airport. It looks like there's a really nice group of people, I was already chatting to, to some of them uh, on, the way, on the way here from the UK, from America, from Italy, uh, from, from all over the place. So yeah, it's gonna be a really good mix of people. Also seems a good mix of, of ability and ages as well. So this isn't a camp just for sort of like professional running runners. It's for anyone, any abilities, any ages, it, it sort of caters for everyone. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. I've literally just chucked my bags in my room and I'm gonna go meet everyone at the food hall. Let me give you a little bit of a room tour. So these are the little residents here. We'll start outside and go in through the door. And we've got ourselves a little cupboard. Literally haven't unpacked at all yet. So yeah, cupboard, bit of storage, little desk. How many plug sockets have we got? I haven't even looked yet, probably just the one. But I brought an extension lead as recommended. Uh, I've got my own little bathroom and toilet. There's a shower in here and toilet behind the door. It's nice to have my own, but there is communal ones as well. Um, so yeah, that's my room, pretty basic. Um, but yeah, should do the trick for the next two weeks. Can't believe I'm here for two weeks. It's gonna be incredible. Um, the, the actual high altitude training center is, uh, the compound is locked up, so you don't really have to worry about locking your rooms and stuff. I probably will, but um, yeah, it seems pretty, pretty relaxed in terms of um, security. We've got some toilets here. Uh, men's there, ladies here, through here. So we go out this gate here, and the main camp is just over here. 
there's the famous sign. Welcome to the High Altitude Training Center in a 10, home of champions. And then we cross over the road into the main camp here. And I'll show you the gym. Gym is just down here. We've got a swimming pool. There's no one there at the moment, so I don't have to worry about privacy. Um, yeah, that's the swimming pool. And this here is the sort of main hangout area. There's a little library and a place to do to do work if you want to. Down here we have the gym. We've got an area in here where the, they do some classes. Um, I was told we're gonna do some, some core work. Let me show you through this window quickly. Um, yeah, just your, your normal gym. And then on this side, we've got a bit more of a, a bit more equipment. So we've got a few treadmills, some strength stuff. Nobody in here at the moment. A couple of treadmills, spin bike. So yeah. That's the, that's the gym, and um, there's also a little sauna in here. I haven't had a proper look myself really, so um, yeah, let's have a little look. Before I do that, let me show you who has stayed at the High Altitude Training Centre at the same time. Here we've got Paula Radcliffe and Mo Farah at that sign that I just showed you there. Um, some other athletes that have been here. It's pretty cool. And this is the, the running map here. So. Um, around the around the area, that's where the routes we're going to be running over the next few days. In here, we've got some showers. So after the gym, we can come in here, and we've also got a sauna in there. Very nice. So you get up these steps. Pool is up there. This is the main library area, and sort of the main meeting place where we're going to do all our sort of seminars and stuff. And here is the sort of main chill out area. There we've got the banner, Kenya Experience. So we're gonna meet here at five o'clock. So in about two hours. Um, yeah, nice little space coming out here to the pool again. It's a good length pool. Definitely get some, some uh, cross training in while I'm here. So I just had the guided tour myself. I can't remember. One of these rooms is the magical room that Mo Farah stays in, uh, number 25. Apparently it's exactly the same as all the other rooms, but um, yeah, that's just where he stayed and a lot of other really world class runners like to come and stay in it as a bit of a, like a, a suspicion that it's a, the lucky room if you like. So yeah, I have, have to have a look at that later, but apparently it's just the same. Coming up here is where we are gonna be having our meals and coffee. And I think I'm gonna go in and meet the, meet the rest of the team who's, who's out here on this trip. So yeah, this is the main compound. Beautiful place. And there's some more accommodation around there. So yeah, I think that's the majority of the of the high altitude training camp here in the 10 um, and i'm here for the next two weeks so yeah i'm gonna settle in and uh yeah get some good running in so we just had our welcome introduction um and it is now 5 30 so we've got about an hour and a half until dinner so i'm going to use this opportunity to go for my first run out in kenya should be good i'm going to go and see if anyone else um on the trip wants to run as well if not i'm just going to go go and explore myself should be good it was behind me we found it Welcome to Iten, the home of champions. Woo! Okay, so I just finished my first run at altitude, 10K, um, with a, one of the Italian guys who's also on the course. Um, he's a 30, 30 minute, 30, 30 for, for 10K, so it was nice to, to share some miles with him. Um, we got ticking along at 4.24 per kilometer, so sort of usual easy pace in the UK. Um, but in terms of heart rate, uh, it was probably more of a tempo. So yeah, my running performance is saying 94% low running performance, which will be the, the no sleep and the altitude. What else have we got on here in terms of stats? Training focus threshold <laughs> and average heart rate 161 for an easy run, which obviously is not an easy run. So we need to be taking it even easier than that over the next few days, but yeah. Crazy. So just got freshened up after my run. Um, I'm now off to dinner. Dinner is at seven o'clock for everyone who is. Turn the light off. For everyone who's staying at the 
on this camp in the, at the high altitude training center. So it's not just um, the people on the Kenya experience, it's all the other runners that are staying here. So um, yeah, I was just speaking to uh, my roommate next door. Is a marathon runner herself called Nina. Um, she's training for a marathon at the moment. Um, and then the other side of me is another guy who's doing solo camp. So yeah, it's nice to meet other people as well that aren't just on the trip. There we go, finally locked the door. Yeah, let's go find out what what uh, dinner has to, has to offer out in Kenya. So just got back from dinner. That was really nice. Um, I didn't film too much. It's nice just to, to meet the rest of the group um, and enjoy some, some good food together. Um, first taste of ugali, which is um, pretty famous Kenyan staples, like a carbohydrate, um, stodgy, almost like porridge type thing. Um, not porridge, but it's like a cake made of starchy carbohydrate. Um, and it, yeah, it was pretty good, it wasn't, wasn't bad. Um, and then we had some sort of like beef stew, um, some, some vegetables and some rice. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty good meal, a little bit on the bland side, but um, certainly enough to, to fuel the runs while we're over here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm gonna continue documenting this trip on a bit of a daily vlog format. Um, I'll try to keep them as, as regular as possible. Um, if you have any questions about the, the experience, then, then leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.